Do you often feel stressed and don't know how to manage it? With life's constant hustle and bustle, stress can become an unwelcome companion. But did you know that there are effective techniques to help you take control? Today, we'll be exploring 10 practical tips for stress management, covering everything from deep breathing exercises to the importance of setting boundaries. These strategies are designed to help you navigate feelings of anger, anxiety, and fear. So, stay tuned as we dive into these 10 practical tips to take control of your stress. Tip number one, practice deep breathing. This simple but powerful technique can be your secret weapon against stress. When you're feeling overwhelmed, taking slow, deep breaths can have a calming effect on your nervous system, helping to reduce the intensity of those stressful feelings. It's like sending a gentle reminder to your body and mind that it's time to relax. Let's consider a quick example. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in, counting to four as you do so. Hold that breath for a count of seven, then exhale slowly, counting to eight. This is known as the 478 technique. It's simple, it's quick, and you can do it anywhere, anytime you need to dial down the stress. Deep breathing is more than just a stress relief tip. It's a skill, and like any skill, it gets better with practice. So, make it a habit. Incorporate it into your daily routine. Remember, deep breaths can be your go-to tool in stressful situations. Our second tip, exercise regularly. When we engage in physical activity, our bodies release endorphins, often referred to as feel-good hormones. These endorphins are natural mood lifters that can help to diminish stress, reduce anxiety, and even alleviate symptoms of depression. Regular exercise also promotes better sleep, which in turn can further reduce stress levels and improve overall well-being. Whether you prefer a brisk walk, a vigorous run, a soothing yoga session, or a competitive game of tennis, the key is to find an activity that you enjoy and make it a part of your routine. It doesn't have to be an intense, sweat-dripping workout. Even light activities like gardening or dancing can get your heart rate up and trigger endorphin production. Remember, the goal is consistency rather than intensity. So, keep moving and let your body help you reduce stress. Moving on to our third tip, maintain a healthy diet. Now, maintaining a healthy diet is not just about shedding those extra pounds or sculpting the perfect physique. It's about supporting your overall well-being, and yes, reducing stress levels too. Picture your body as a machine. Your diet is the fuel that keeps it running smoothly. When we fuel our bodies with a balanced diet, brimming with a variety of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, we are not only boosting our physical health, but also our mental resilience. Fruits and vegetables are packed with vitamins and antioxidants that sustain our immune system, while whole grains are rich in fiber which aids in digestion and promotes a feeling of fullness. A well-nourished body can better manage stress, leaving you feeling more grounded and less anxious. So make mindful choices about what you eat, because what goes into your body can greatly influence how you handle life's pressures. Remember, a healthy body can better cope with stress. Next up, tip number four, get enough sleep. Sleep, often overlooked, is a crucial component in managing stress. When we snooze, our bodies and minds embark on a restorative journey, repairing, rejuvenating, and recharging themselves. Aiming for seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night can make a significant difference in how you handle life's stresses. On the flip side, insufficient sleep can intensify feelings of stress, making it harder to cope. It's a vicious cycle. Stress can make it challenging to sleep, and lack of sleep can exacerbate stress. But by prioritizing sleep, you can break this cycle. Consider creating a sleep-friendly environment. This may involve sticking to a regular sleep schedule, even on weekends, ensuring your bedroom is dark, quiet and cool, and establishing a relaxing pre-sleep routine. Never underestimate the power of a good night's sleep. Our fifth tip, manage your time effectively. Time. It's the one resource we all have the same amount of, yet it often feels like it slips through our fingers like sand. Prioritizing tasks and setting realistic goals can help us regain control of our time. Think of your day as a puzzle, and your tasks are the pieces. Some are large, some are small, but all are necessary to complete the picture. Now let's get practical. Take each goal and break it down into manageable steps. 
This makes the task less daunting and more achievable. Also, it gives you a clear roadmap to success. When you manage your time effectively, you reduce feelings of overwhelm. It's like decluttering a room. It might be a mess at first, but once you've organized it, you feel a sense of calm and satisfaction. Remember, time management isn't about cramming in as many tasks as possible. It's about making space for what truly matters. Effective time management can be a game changer in handling stress. Moving on to tip number six, practice mindfulness and meditation. Mindfulness is about being fully engaged in the here and now. It's about embracing the present moment with a gentle curiosity, without judgment. Meditation, on the other hand, is a practice where we train our minds to focus and redirect our thoughts. Both mindfulness and meditation can help us anchor ourselves in the present moment, reducing anxiety and stress. Let's try a simple mindfulness exercise. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Feel the cool air entering your nostrils and the warm air leaving. Notice the rise and fall of your chest. If your mind starts to wander, gently bring it back to your breath. This exercise can help you become more aware of your body and the present moment. Remember, it's not about emptying your mind, but about becoming an observer of your thoughts and feelings without getting caught up in them. Mindfulness and meditation are powerful tools in your stress management toolkit. Our seventh tip, stay connected. Human beings are social creatures, wired for connection. It's essential for our well-being. Spending time with loved ones, friends and support networks can be a powerful stress reliever. When we connect with others, we're reminded that we're not alone in our struggles. It's an opportunity to share our feelings, to offload some of the burdens we're carrying. Expressing our anxieties and fears can be incredibly cathartic, and often, just voicing our worries can make them seem less intimidating. Getting emotional support is also vital. When we're feeling stressed, it's comforting to know we have people who care about us, who are there to lend a listening ear, offer words of encouragement, or give us a comforting hug. Don't underestimate the power of a good chat with a friend or a warm family gathering. These connections are our safety net, providing reassurance and strength when we need it most. Remember, you're not alone. Reach out to your loved ones when you're feeling stressed. Tip number eight, limit caffeine and alcohol. Now we all have our vices, don't we? A cup of coffee to kickstart the day or a glass of wine to wind down in the evening. But here's the thing, when consumed excessively, these substances can actually heighten your stress and anxiety levels. Caffeine, for example, stimulates the nervous system, which can increase your heart rate and blood pressure, leading to feelings of anxiety and restlessness. On the other hand, alcohol might seem like it helps you relax, but it can interfere with the quality of your sleep and your ability to cope with stress in the long run. So what's the solution? Moderation is key. Try to limit your intake of these substances, or better yet, avoid them where possible. Opt for herbal teas or water instead of coffee, and consider alcohol-free days to give your body a break. Your body will thank you for limiting these substances. Our ninth tip, learn to say no. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of responsibilities, tasks and commitments. But here's a little secret. It's entirely okay, and sometimes necessary, to say no. Setting boundaries is a crucial part of managing your workload and obligations. It's about understanding your limits and respecting your personal space and time. Overcommitting can lead to feelings of overwhelm, stress and even burnout. So, how do you do it? Start by assessing your priorities. What's truly important to you? What aligns with your values and goals? Then, be assertive in your communication. It's not about being rude or dismissive, but rather expressing your needs in a clear, respectful manner. Remember, every time you say yes to something, you're potentially saying no to something else, something that might be more important to you. Remember, it's okay to say no to reduce stress. And finally, our 10th tip, seek professional help. It's an important point to remember that we all need a helping hand from time to time. When stress starts to feel like an overwhelming wave, it can be incredibly beneficial to reach out to a professional. Therapists, counselors, and physicians are trained to help us navigate these rough waters. 
They can provide you with strategies and coping mechanisms that are tailored to your unique situation. Remember, seeking professional help is not a sign of weakness, but rather a step towards empowerment. It's about taking control of your mental health and making a conscious choice to improve your well-being. You're not alone in this journey, and there's no shame in reaching out. Let's break the stigma around mental health. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to admit that you're struggling. Don't hesitate to seek help if you need it. Your mental well-being matters. So there you have it. 10 practical tips to help you manage stress. From practicing deep breathing and regular exercise, maintaining a healthy diet and getting enough sleep, to managing your time effectively and practicing mindfulness. Remember the importance of staying connected, limiting caffeine and alcohol, learning to say no and seeking professional help when needed. These are all key steps to controlling stress in your life. Remember, it's important to find strategies that work best for you. So start incorporating these tips into your daily routine and take control of your stress.